Morning everyone, it's Miss Ryan here. Now, I have planned the most fantastic art project for everyone to have a go at this week, okay? So, art is just a really, really great way to relax our minds and express ourselves. So, what we are going to do this morning is we are going to link our art to our Christian value this half term, which is generosity. Okay, so we need to be thinking about what it means to be generous because there's lots of different ways that I can think of to show generosity. So we are going to base our artwork this morning on this book and you'll have seen this lots and lots and lots of times in our assemblies. So The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse by Charlie Macquarie. Now, it's got some absolutely fantastic illustrations in this book, okay? You can see the detail in sketches, sometimes a little bit of colour in there. And I just thought this would be an absolutely fantastic way to link um, our thoughts and our feelings to generosity through illustrations. So, you can pause this video whenever you like. Okay, it's going to be about 40 minutes, so get comfortable, get relaxed. You will need to get a pencil ready, and if you follow on with me, step by step, you are going to produce some gorgeous artwork, and I cannot wait to see these. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. So like I said earlier, we are looking at the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. So before we go any further, I just want you to have a think about this question. What is generosity? Have you heard of this word before? If you have, when might you have heard it? Okay, what does it mean to us? What does it mean to you as an individual? So you can pause this video and you can have a little think to yourself or you can go and find somebody you live with um, and have a little chat about it or if you're in school, Okay, use your talk partners. What does generosity mean to you? Okay, so generosity is the quality of being kind. So it's just another word for showing kindness. And it can take place in many different forms. So what I've done is I've just put together a couple of examples of people showing generosity. So straight away when I think of generosity, I think of people giving, okay? So the first picture in the top left is all about giving things. So you might be giving presents to people, you might be donating to charity. So it's all about giving. That's what I think of when I first think of generosity. I also think of, and if you look to the picture to the right, showing kindness to my family and my friends okay so it's about making my family feel happy and doing something kind towards them i also think of and if you look at the bottom left picture the girl smiles and smiling okay it's as simple as that when i think of generosity i think of people smiling that's the picture that i paint in my head and then finally, this is not an obvious one, but being generous to yourself and showing generosity, not just to others, but being kind to yourself and taking time for yourself, taking time to look after yourself, being kind to your body, being kind to your mind. Also, it's about being generous with your time. Okay, so it's about thinking, how can I use my time wisely? So again that links to being generous to your body and to your mind it's not just thinking about work all the time and stressful things like we've done in the well-being lessons looking at routines it's about being kind to yourself and doing what's right for you and what's best for you so what i've done here is i've just looked at a couple of pages from our book that i think best link to generosity so I'm just going to talk you through a couple of them. This one, what do you want to be when you grow up? Kind, said the boy. 
So it's not about, well, it is about thinking about what you want to do when you're older and having these goals and ambitions, but it's also thinking about what type of person you want to be when you're older. And this boy simply wants to be kind. That's his priority. Just thinking about the drawing here. Okay, it's quite a nice, simple drawing. So we've got the um, branch with the boy and the mole. And yeah, it's just using that simple sort of texture of the pencil. So it looks a little bit, it actually looks like it's rushed. Okay, but it's not. It's been really well thought out. But it's looking at the texture of the pencil. Those little quick fine lines that I'm going to show you how to do. Okay, let's look at the next one. So with this one, sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you and love brings you home. So this one is about being generous to one another. Someone's feeling a little bit down and the mole is cheering him up by saying, you know what? I also feel the same, but we're in this together. We love you. So it's linking to love and compassion as well. I do like this drawing um, because it's a little bit more complex and this one's got a little bit of colour in there. Okay, so when we come on to doing our pieces, you can, if you want, add some colour to yours at the end and I'll talk you through how you could go about doing that. So next we've got this one. I'm so small, said the mole. Yes, said the boy, but you make a huge difference. So... If I'm thinking about this one, this makes me think about the moles feeling a little bit down, a little bit upset, that they're small compared to other people and other creatures. But the boy's thinking, yeah, but so what? It doesn't matter how small you are or tall you are, you can still make a huge difference. You can still make huge changes. And I really, really like this one. What's your best discovery? Asked the mole. That I'm enough as I am, said the boy. I absolutely love this here. Okay, so it's about this boy thinking about himself and thinking, actually, do you know what? I am enough the way that I am. So linking to life at the minute, linking to us now in our personal and current situations, it's okay to feel a little bit frustrated at times and it's okay to make mistakes, but it's about learning to forgive ourselves. So this, that's what that one makes me think about. Now, this one's quite a special one because this one has been created regarding the pandemic. So this one's not actually in the book, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to share this with you anyway. So this one says, to the delivery people, the shelf stackers and shopkeepers, thank you. So this one, again, links really nicely to generosity. And it's just showing that appreciation and that fa that thankfulness to all the people that are keeping the country going. So I thought this one really links nicely to our situation. Right, okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to model and show you how I would go about starting off to create my piece. So you're going to see in a minute a little video um, with me with my pencil and my paper ready, showing you step by step how to go about sketching it. So we're going to be linking it to sketching techniques that you'll have learnt in school, okay, and little top tips and hints about how to create one of the pages from this book. I'm going to let you choose which one you want to use and you want to have a go at recreating. I'm also going to let you choose um, if you want to go over it in pen and a, bit, a little bit of colour once you've sketched your design. And I'm also going to let you choose what your sentence is going to be, what your little bit of writing is going to be, but it has to link to generosity. So I'm just going to model now how to go about doing that. So if you need to go and grab a pencil and some paper ready, you can make some notes as I'm going along. Okay, so this is the illustration that I've chosen to do. Okay, again, it's up to you which one you want to do. But I wanted mine to have a conversation between the horse and the boy. So I thought this one was appropriate. So I've got my sketchbook ready. I've got my pencil nice and sharp ready. 
So I'm going to start with this bit here. I'm going to start with the outline of the horse first. If you do this and press on really hard and okay, then it's not going to look and have the same abstract effect as this image. So I know that you, us in year six, we've talked about what abstract means. And abstract means um, it looks a little bit messy. It doesn't quite look like what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so it has got that abstract feel to it. So if you press on hard and just do one continuous line, it's not going to have the same scribble effect. So I'm just going to start again. So I wasn't happy with that. Right, okay. So I'm just going to, I want my writing to go up here. So I'm going to leave that bit blank. And I want my other bit of writing to go here. So I need to be quite central. So I'm just going to do and press on really lightly. And I am going to take my time. I'm not going to rush. Okay, and can you see how tiny my brush strokes are? Now, I want to press on lightly in case I make a mistake. Stick and I want to rub it out. So this is going to take you, as you can see, quite a while. Okay, I've got a little bit, if I go back to my image, of a bit of a, kind of like a rushed line there. Okay. So as I can see from my picture, we've got the pointy bit here for the ear. So I'm just going to bring it up and back down again and I'm going to make that a little bit darker because on my picture okay it's got quite a thick line there but I'm going to come back to it when I'm happy with my sketch so now for the horse's face it does come quite far down and it does curve a little bit so can you see how light I'm pressing on Okay, and how fine and thin my pencil lines are. And it's all about being not afraid to just have a go and have a little bit of it free flowing, okay? So I'm just gonna bring my nose shape down and round. Now I might not get this head shape perfect first time, but that's okay, because I know that I can come back and I can adapt it as I go along okay so I'm just using this bit of a bump here it's got it's a bit of a, quite messy there so I'm going to come back to that and then it kind of curves round and down okay sort of that shape and it kind of flicks up so I might bring my pencil quickly off my page to create that sort of flick effect I just I'm just wanting to get the outline first okay I'm not worried about the detail just yet I just want to get the outline done so then here we've got kind of like I'm just going to faintly outline it the legs okay right now just looking back and observing very carefully I don't think I'm quite happy with this shape of the head here I think it's a little bit too wide so I am actually going to rub that part out And I'm going to do that little bit again. So it is just that bit straighter. Just a slight tweak. Yeah, I like that a bit better now. Okay, and then once you've got your outline and you're happy with your outline, then you can start to add the details. So you can go back and you can start to add that sort of rushed, flicky scribble effect so I'm again I'm just using my image this is where you might want to go over your outline a little bit darker in the darker areas it has got a bit of a flick here 
I just need to have a look at where my eye is. So it's mm, about halfway down. Okay. Again, I might not like it there, so I might have to change it, but I can come back to that. Okay. So this is a little bit about letting go here. I'm thinking, you know what? It's not going to look perfect because that's not the style. Okay. And as you can see, as you keep building and building on it, and the more you do it, the more you'll take more risks. And you'll just think, right, I'm just going to flick that line up. And you can see it will come to life. Okay. So I'm just going to add to this now. Okay, so as you can see, it's coming together. This is where you can press on a little bit darker, make your lines a little bit thicker for the darker areas. Okay. So you can watch this section back as you're doing yours, just to remind yourself about how you can create those sort of lines. I'm still not pressing on too hard. Okay, I am just carefully shading it a little bit thicker. I'm gonna go back to my head here because it's got another line up here. The ear is quite a dark area. So I do want to emphasize that bit. The nose is as well. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that for now. So I am going to quickly go and sketch my little boy. Okay. So the next bit you will see, you'll have a little boy there. Ta-da! Okay, so here I just went off and quickly sketched my little boy. And you know what? I felt a little bit more confident doing the boy as I had practice with the horse. So these lines were a little bit more free flowing. Okay. So as you go along, you will get more confident. Okay. So I actually am quite happy with that. So what I might do is I might start to experiment with my black pen because the image is from a black pen. Okay, so what I think this artist will have done is, is, is the exact same as us. They will have sketched it in pencil and they were happy with it, they'll have gone for the pen. So just a simple black handwriting pen, okay? You don't have to do this, okay? This is optional, but I just want to see what would happen if I started to outline, okay, my lines with a pen and you can see already it's giving that sort of scratchy effect so i'm just going to see what happens with this bit i might add some extra lines on with my pen okay look at my boy i had to make sure that the boy and the horse were touching okay because that is showing generosity there so I am going to now go over certain parts of my sketch straight away guys look you can see how it's making it jump out okay it's making it stand out off the page I probably won't do it all in pen okay but especially the darker bits, I think I am going to make those stand out. Look straight away. Looks a little bit like ink here has run off the page maybe. It doesn't have to be exactly like the image in the book either. I might want to add in my own little bits of details. Can we see how that's coming together now? And now as I'm doing it, I've just realised that I want more detail by the eye. So I'm going to go back to the eye. I'm going to be brave enough to just kind of...
Okay, I am going to come back to that, but I do want to show you how to create your sentence. So I have been having to think about what I want my sentence to be. So I'm going to have my boy saying something first. And I'm going to use the image and have my writing split. So I'm going to do it up here. I'm going to do it in pencil first. And I think my sentence, hmm, I'm going to open it with inverted commas. And I'm going to go back to pencil for this, just in case I want to adapt it. I'm going to have, tell me about generosity. That's what my sentence is going to be, said the boy. And I kind of want to make it a little bit like this fancy writing here, this sort of joined up squarely writing. Okay, so my first word, tell. So capital T, okay. And I might do it and think, actually, I'm going to adapt the writing. But let's see what happens here. So I might do tell, and I want to join it up. Tell me, I've got to make it quite big. Tell me about generosity. So I'm just trying to recreate that sort of joined up swirly writing. Comma, punctuation, inverted commas. Tell me about generosity, said the boy. You've actually got the words said the here, so it probably will be a little bit easier to copy those words. So, said the Boy. Got quite a thick line for boy. Okay, full stop. Tell me about generosity, said the boy. Right, hmm. Okay, so the horse needs to reply. Now, the horse could actually just say, well, generosity means sharing cake. But I think I want something a little bit more meaningful than just the obvious. So I'm going to have some more speech down here. Sharing. My writing got like go a little bit up and down, slanting, but that's fine. That's the effect. Sharing your smile. Keep rereading it to make sure it makes sense. Sharing your smile to spread. Because I want mine to be a little bit deeper. Okay, maybe about sharing the smile that we talked about earlier. Sharing your smile to spread kindness. Sharing your smile to spread kindness is how I show generosity. Get the word back in there. Okay. I'm going to put a dash in there. A kind. Just want to explain it a little bit further. A kind gesture. Speaks. So mine is quite long, so yours doesn't have to be this long. Yours could just be short and simple. A thousand words. Something as simple as smiling. Can really make someone's day. And I want to put a full stop at the end of my sentence. Oh, no. Actually, I want to say who's replying. So, comma, replied. The horse. 
Now, I've rushed that writing there a little bit just to save some time, but you guys can really take your time and see if you can repli replicate that sort of style handwriting. I do want to just go back and check it. Sharing your smile to spread kindness is how I show generosity. A kind gesture speaks a thousand words. Oh, missed my inverted commas to close my speech. That's the importance of checking. Replied the horse. Okay, right. I am now just going to spend five minutes on my own doing a couple of final touches with my pen, okay, on my writing and on my image, and I will show you the finished outcome. Right, guys, so all I've done is I have gone over my writing, and you can see on the lettering that sometimes it's a little bit thicker than other letters, so I did go over some of my lettering and made some sections thicker and then I have noticed a couple of spots and dots on my image so I'm just going to emphasize those and the more you look at it the more you'll think oh yeah I want to just add a little bit more on this section okay as it is a real skill as an artist to keep adding to your picture, but also the importance of knowing when to stop. Okay, you don't want to overdo it too much so it loses its simplicity. I'm just gonna make my sleeve on my boy stand out and his feet and connect them with my lines. And do you know what? I'm quite happy with that. Just think, just a couple more touch-ups, this line here, it's quite dark on my image, so it's just about having the skill to look back and look back and keep looking back and forth. And there we have it, okay, so this is my image, okay, I'm having the boy asking the horse for advice well tell me about generosity he wants to learn about it and then the horse is saying well sharing your smile to spread kindness is how i show generosity a kind gesture speaks a thousand words replied the horse okay so i'm really really pleased with that i'm just going to make my ear a little bit thicker And there we have it. So you can re-watch this as many times as you like. You can pause it when you need to pause it. Um, if you're struggling to think of a quote, um, speak to your teachers if you're in school, speak to each other, speak to people you live with. You could perhaps Google some ideas of what generosity means. There's some nice quotes on Google if you're struggling. Okay, but try and make it come from you and come from your heart. What? How would you show generosity? What's important to you? Right, do you know what? I think I might go and do another one now. Let's put me in the, in the mood to do another one. Okay, so you can do as many of these as you want. I might do a little collection. Okay, and then you can kind of come up with then. Okay, lots of your own designs. And then, again, if you feel confident, go for one with colour. If you've got some nice coloured pencils at home, or perhaps some watercolours, you could even add a little element of colour if you want to. But these ones look just as lovely. Even the really simple ones like this one, okay, is just as effective. Okay, that one's a nice one. Okay, fab. Right, I'm now going to share with you and go over with you the steps of success, so how to be successful, everything that you'll need, and then it is over to you guys. Thank you. Okay, so now you've seen my example of excellence. Here are the steps of success that I mentioned as I was going along whilst I was doing it. So, number one, 
you now need to decide which illustration you are going to use. So what you could do is you could go back through this video and you could pause it on any of the images that you like. I'm also going to show you a few more that you want to choose from. It's up to you which characters you do. Secondly, you will need to get a pencil and make sure it's nice and sharp so we can create those thin, fine lines that I mentioned. Number three, you're going to map out your outline first, just like I did, remembering to press on lightly and remembering to take your time. This actually might take you more than just this session, okay? You might want to do some more of the weekend or you might want to do some more after school, okay? So this might take you a little bit longer than you think, which is absolutely fine. Number four, you need to use fine, small strokes just like I did to create the same effect as the illustrations, okay? So it's not about doing one continuous line. It's about breaking it up with those sort of scribbles. Okay, it looks a little bit like scribbling, but it's not. Number five, if you want, once you've done your sketch and you're happy with it in pencil, you can go over your outlining pen, like I showed you, to create that contrast between the background and your sketch. Okay, and also, again, if you want to add some colour to it, an element of colour, I would recommend using coloured pencils or watercolour paint if you've got some. Okay, I think felt tips would be too bright and too harsh. Again, that is optional. Number six, consider how you portray generosity. Okay, and put it into that sentence. So think, really think hard about what message you want to get across. What is it that you find the most important about being generous? What act of kindness might you have done before you might have seen someone do and thought wow that really underpins generosity and then finally number seven be proud of your work okay this is such a nice activity to do be really proud of it okay so i've just added some extras on here so you might want to do something as simple as this they're quite like the horse in this. I quite like the way that the horse is bending its head down. Um, perhaps showing love to the boy. Okay, I like how they're all together. They're all united. So that could be a quite a nice one to add a quote to. And then I also added this one. Okay, a little bit more of a complex one. Okay, you guys that are really into art that might want to do some sort of landscape in the background. This also links lovely to generosity. So nothing beats kindness, said the horse. It sits quietly beyond all things. So it's, that to me makes me think that kindness is always there in the background. And looking at the picture, they're looking out towards the landscape and nature, okay, which could have some hidden message there about being generous to the world. So again, if you want to pause your video and do that one, that could be a lovely one to do. Or like I said, you can go back okay to the ones that i talked you through earlier so it's over to you guys now once you finish your pieces i would absolutely love it and i'm so sure that mrs parton would as well and mrs mehebi as well if you could upload your work onto a folder in teams or you could email it through to your teachers who would send it on to myself I would love to see your outcomes, guys, even Twitter, even have a go at tweeting them, okay? I think it's really important that we share our work and share our ideas and, again, be proud of your work. So I would love to see some of your designs and how different they all end up being. And then, if you finish that and you know what you think, actually, I fancy doing a little bit extra, here's a little challenge for you. What are you going to do now to show generosity? Okay, so it might just be something as simple as sharing a smile. It might be something to do with um, showing kindness to people that you're living with. It could be showing kindness um, with your friends online. Okay, it could be doing something generous out in the world. 
Um, there's loads of loads of different things you could do to show kindness and generosity. So what I would like you to do, if you want, <clears throat> you could write down five promises that you're going to promise yourself, okay, that you're going to try and keep and do. So just make a simple list. Okay, you could have some little nice pictures with it. Five things that you're going to do now to show generosity. What could you do to make a difference to someone's day? What could you do to make a difference to your day? How can you be kind to yourself? Okay. So that's a little bit of an extra task if you want it. Again, by all means, share that with us. That'd be brilliant. I'd love to see some of those ideas. Okay. That is all from me. I really enjoyed doing this. So I'm sure that you guys will love it just as much as me. And I hope you do end up sharing your work. It's going to be lovely to see them all. <clears throat> and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.